Today, I'm going to be talking about the early warning signs of mast cell activation. Mast cell activation is one of the conditions that we consider a comorbidity that goes along with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and hypermobility spectrum disorders in many, many people. So to start off with, what are those mast cells anyway? And mast cells are cells that are participating in the immune system. They're made in the bone marrow and they develop in the connective tissue. And the mast cells, when we look at them under the microscope, have hundreds of tiny little granules in them that contain inflammatory molecules, many, many different inflammatory molecules. And when those molecules are released into the tissue by a process we call degranulation, they create inflammation, pain, and many of the symptoms that we associate with mast cell activation. Now, the mast cells are found in virtually every organ system in the body, but they are particularly prevalent in the organ systems that interface with the external environment. So these include the skin, the gastrointestinal tract, the urinary tract, the lungs, and the upper respiratory tract are really predominant organ systems that can be affected by mast cell activation. When we think about the symptoms in the skin, we commonly think about rashes, hives, itching, and flushing. So people will say they're just itchy for no reason. They may have an itchy rash or hives, and often they report that they flush, so they get red, their face gets red, or the skin of their chest wall may get red, or their ears may get red, and feel very warm to the touch. In the gastrointestinal tract, the usual warning signs include abdominal pain, gas, bloating, diarrhea, and particularly when these things happen after eating certain foods, we think that they may be caused by mast cell activation. In the urinary tract, the common complaint is that of painful urination or burning on urination. And people may have suspected common urinary tract infections occurring frequently, but they go to the doctor and those the urine culture is actually negative. So there's no bacteria in the urine, but it feels like you have a urinary tract infection. And this often leads to a diagnosis of something called interstitial cystitis which may also be a manifestation of mast cell ac activation because it represents inflammation in the bladder. Now, two other common symptoms that we associate with mast cell activation are those of dysautonomia and chronic pain. So you may know that it's very common to see dysautonomia or orthostatic intolerance. Sometimes this is called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And the mast cell activation may really exacerbate signs and symptoms of dysautonomia. Chronic pain is another common warning sign of mast cell activation. Now, we know that many people with the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders experience chronic pain because of the joint laxity and the muscles trying to kind of work overtime to hold those joints together. But if the chronic pain is seen in the setting of some of these other early warning signs of mast cell activation, it's possible that that the mast cell activation is also contributing to the chronic pain. So there you have it. These are the early warning signs of mast cell activation in the skin, in the gastrointestinal tract, the urinary tract, in association with dysautonomia and chronic pain. And if you would like to learn more about mast cell activation and the management of mast cell activation, I recommend the excellent website for the Mastocytosis Society. And you can also see my YouTube video discussing management of mast cell activation. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I wish you the very best on your journey.